Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of Platform App Builder Certification Series. Um, so today we're going to talk about the reports. So reports uh, plays a very important role in Salesforce uh, because report is like, think about a report, like if, if you are a salesperson, right, your manager would like to see, hey, show me the report uh, telling me uh, how many sales you made or or show me the report showing me the status of uh, opportunities right reports are very handy uh, it's a visual representation of a data right so if you wanted to see uh, your data uh, combined together at one place then reports are the best uh, option for you in salesforce and salesforce gives you a lot of options with reports there are different kinds of reports are we going to touch briefly on that today um, so before we uh, jump into that, the first thing first, you need to log into an org, right? If you do not have a free org, please register for a free one. Okay, so I've logged into my org. So this is the place I am right now. So that's on the, uh, the set of page. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a an opportunity report. So to give you a context, right? So I wanted to see the list of opportunities that's out there uh, in the org. So the best way to do that is using... Uh, um, using a report. So there are three kinds of reports. One is a tabular, one, then another one is a summary, and the third one is the matrix, right? So we're going to look at each. Okay, so the, the to, to go to the report is pretty straightforward. Go to the tic-tac-toe icon here, um, and you can type reports, right? It will take you to Salesforce reports, and you get uh, something like here, so you can see the reports. Uh, created by me or private reports or public reports um, Right, so all all reports, right? So what we're gonna do so there's an option here new report or new report Salesforce classic so um, I won't be talking much about the classic uh, since we are doing uh, the lightning so we're gonna stick to uh, the lightning one so I can create a new folder here so I can say um, so new reports if you wanted to group all the reports in a in a folder um so you can say new reports right um so what we're gonna do so we're gonna do uh see it's a new report here right and so you can go to new reports here and so you you have different objects here. You can uh, create a report, a contact and account, accounted partners. So what I'm going to do just to demonstrate a very simple uh, scenario, we're going to choose opportunities, right? Because opportunities have a lot of options here. And click on continue. So when you so this is the options you get. Very very simple. So by default, it adds you a few fields here onto the grid. So I hope you understand what the grid means. This is a grid layout. Um, so, and these are the columns which you can add. So let's say I don't want the owner's role, so I can actually uh, take off the owners from here. And let's say if I wanted to uh, look for another field like create a buy, I can actually add a create a buy field here. So it will pretty much add uh, the create a buy field here, right? And if I want to take that off, you can, uh, click on this uh, drop down and then you can say remove column right so this report what you see is a is a tabular report right uh, tabular whatever you call uh, because it do not have any sort of group by or uh, neither by row neither by column right no by column so um, so this is a tabular report and we can convert this report into summary report so I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute so before that uh, let's spend some time here. So we have filters here. So if you wanted to add filters to a report, you can do that. So like, like I have, you can add new filter here if you wanted to add new filter. Um, if you don't want to add new filter, you can, uh, if you wanted to change the existing uh, filter, right? We have closed date. So I wanted to make it to all time. You can do that as well. See, when you do that filter, um, you see, uh, the list get filtered, right? And that's because you have enabled this option, update preview automatically. If not, then you have to run it and you know every time. So it's good option to have if you wanted to see the result, instantaneous result, right? Cool. Now, so this is about very basic about, and then you can actually drag and drop the field here. You can 
uh, position the field where you want to you know uh, have the field positioning you can do that as well um, there are a lot of options here I would highly encourage you to please uh, play around with it it's it's very handy and then um, if you wanted to let's say I wanted to group by um, let's say uh, what's this called um, stage right I can do that so I wanted to convert this report into summary report so what we're gonna do I'm gonna group by uh so uh, group group row this by this field right okay so there you are you group this by uh, a stage right and so that's so that's now it's become a summary report so when it becomes a summary report you can see that you have an option to have an add chart here so i'll show i'll show you again so we're gonna go back remove the group so there is no add chart option available for a tabular report. So it's available when you are moving away from a tabular report, the add chart option will be visible. Just keep that into mind, right? Okay, so I'm gonna um, change this to, all right. Uh, what's this called? Stage, right? Okay. By mistake, I removed the stage as well from that. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna uh, make this by stage. Uh, I'm gonna keep this to the very uh, left, wherever it is. Uh, I don't want this one. And I have stage somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna remove. Move this stage to say next to the mount. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, that's all right. Okay, whatever. I mean, I I used to I was able to move that before, but okay. All right, let's not waste time on that. Okay, so I'm gonna make this as group row of the, by this field. And uh, so you can see that, um, anyway, it's moved to the left. So I have made this report in, in a form of uh, um, a tabular, uh, sorry, a summary report, so which is great. Now, if I wanted to uh, group this, uh, let's say another field, um, so group column by this field so if you wanted to group a report by column as well as by row then that becomes the matrix report so there you go so it changed right so now let's so the matrix reports come handy depending upon the business requirement right so summary reports are very handy as well tabular reports are handy as well so i mean we use uh, einstein analytics for most of the complex stuff but that being said this you know reports are very handy um so so yeah so now as you can see that i've, I've grouped this by uh, what's that called uh with a uh, column and row uh, so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna add chart to it so when you add chart to it you can see you can have a nice looking chart here and um, now I'm gonna make the chart if you want whatever chart you want you can change it so if you don't want the bar chart you can make this or you want the stack bar you can or if you want the donut right so uh, let's say I wanted to keep the donut chart and I'm gonna save it and so what I'm gonna do um, so I have the new folder that's created by me so when I save a report right you can choose which folder you wanted to save so it's if you have created a new folder like I've done I'm gonna create the the, the new report folder which I created that's why I created a new report in the beginning right it's good to have if you're making a different kinds of report it's good to have a folder so that you can put everything in one place it's uh, neat and tidy right so <clears throat> Right, so that's our report. Now you have a lot of option here. Um, so let's run this report, right? So now pay attention to, see it's, it's a nice looking report, right? So now pay attention to here. 
you can add to dashboard. Let's add to the dashboard. Select the dashboard, no result. Oh, sorry, add to existing, add to a new dashboard. Let's create a new dashboard. A demo dashboard. Right, okay, add. Add. Right, it will look something like that, right? So, right, let's go back to the report again. So you can you can add to the dashboard, right? We're going to talk about dashboard in the next uh, tutorial so that I give you more rundown when we go to dashboard. So, so right now, we're going to go to um, report again. Go to edit. If you want to subscribe to report, you can subscribe, right? And you can, um, you know, you can send emails, right? So it will email you the report whatever time you wanted to do, you know, you can uh, set a frequency if you wanted to do weekly, if you want which time of the, you know, week, you can, you know, pretty much do that. Uh, so it depends upon the scenario, like sometimes if your boss wants to see the report every Monday morning, you can actually subscribe that. So, and send an email to your boss. So that's pretty handy. Um, you can export it if you want, right? You can export as a, you know, uh, detail only or you can export uh, so we have CSV and XLS so if you want format a report you can do an Excel right so sometimes if you wanted to give this to a client or a, or a third party you know so you can do that so this is one of the options um, so yeah and then filters you can see that you can see the filters from here um, so you can choose the filters you can actually um, run it using a filter right so it will change it it gives you a lot of flexibility right in that perspective um and you can edit it if you wanted to go back and do the the changes you can pretty much go and do whatever you wanted to do with the report right so that's a pretty a basic rundown about the report as you can see it's very basic you know um i mean you need to read about it uh from the trailhead uh before you uh go to uh go and attend your platform app builder certification uh, because it's important you understand what you're doing and you please read out uh, read uh, whenever you get an opportunity about reports why, why what's the advantage of tabular what's the advantage of metrics what's the advantage of uh, summary um, so I've covered you the basic scenario you know uh, using an opportunity I would encourage you to choose another object um, and choose account and contacts, a developer report, and put that on the dashboard, or uh, you know, email out to who, who you want, excuse me, uh, email out to who you want, uh, and there you go. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it is. And so you become a report designer now. Cool, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So greetings and adios from New Zealand. Uh, uh, take care. And sorry for the noise. Uh, I don't know, something fell down, I guess. Cool. Bye-bye.